So here did not connect and who are you? Oh, hello, I'm uh, Cyprian. I'm uh, working for INEA, INEA Services. INEA. All right, so, so what do you do? Uh, well, for Linaro, uh, for this demo and uh, this connect, uh, I've been working on the uh, ODL controlling open the switch, which is running on top of ODP. And uh, the plan is to be able to run uh, uh, open the switch on uh, multiple platforms. Uh, we basically have uh, um, open the switch running on top of ODP on top of x86, Linux generic with uh, basic socket uh, transport. And we, sh we also had in plan to run uh, Keystone, uh, open the switch on top of Keystone. But right now we've uh, had some missing boards, so I'm going to show that. For right. instance, we have the configuration on the left hand side with the uh, x86, and also the armor has been replaced with uh, another six, x86 because of uh, the missing platforms, of course. Um, and, uh, we have at this point a uh, video stream running from this laptop, um, and this laptop is, conf is connected back to back to uh, an x86 server in the middle, um, and then another interface is connected to the switch, and then to the other laptop. Um, the server in the middle is running uh, open the switch on top of ODP, and. Um, Right now, it's acting as a regular switch. It acts like a, a learning switch. So you can uh, reach the outside network from this uh, computer. Like, for instance, you can ping uh, uh, or maybe just try with Google. And uh, also, at this point, uh, this laptop is uh, streaming a video through the uh, x86 server and then through open the switch to the other computer, to this laptop. And it picks it up at this point. And uh, what you can do with the open flow control is that you can program flows. And uh, for instance, you can um, uh, drop uh, packets that are coming into a flow. That's a very basic, simple case. Like something like this. Um, like oh, if control that is gonna uh, program um, a flow for breeze zero and in port equals one. That's the port that's the this x86 this laptop is connected to. Um, and just specify action equals drop. And at this point, the video stopped. Nothing's coming through anymore. And for instance, you can. Um, Add a flow to connect uh, in port one. This time the action would be output, and you specify the output port two. And oh, sorry. Um, and you basically need to do the same thing for the reverse uh, direction. So output port one in port port two. And hopefully some this will be working right now. Uh, probably we need to press play here again. Right. Hold on for a few seconds until the video comes through. Nice. So this solution is uh, platform agnostic, anything. Yeah. Um, ODP is uh, meant to be help you um, port your application from uh, one platform to another. You still have to take into account the advantages, the disadvantages of certain platforms, but basically it makes your life a whole, a whole lot easier when uh, switching from one platform to another. Um, right now we're using Linux generic and uh, we've had uh, just a few problems with DPDK, but it's almost there. And it should be working just fine with Linux generic on Keystone 2, for instance. And then we're going to try and port it with uh, Keystone to accelerated version with the TIM MCSDK. Nice. And it should be pretty simple to port from one another, but there's still some work to be done with ODP. We uh, have a few things to settle until we get to the version 1.0. Hopefully when ODP grows so grows mature and uh, uh, it is much more complex, much more tied together, then the the task of switching from one platform to another would be even easier. 
So it's uh, one way to make all the x86 apps just work on Android. Well, it's <laughs> new apps. Yeah, if you really find uh, the apps to be written so in such a way that they are portable, because yeah. you you cannot port entirely any application. There's some stuff that you, some things that you take into consideration, but. Um, I don't know if someone wants to rest it and succeeds, why not?